Well, Coasters, uh, it's, it's Bruce here, and uh, I'm in Greymouth today. Beautiful day. And I'm with uh, Gaylene Donaldson. Gaylene, uh, thanks for taking the time to chat with me. The, the reason I wanted to come and say hello was I've seen the leaflet where there's a fundraiser for uh, Cancer Society West Coast, and um, and you're a pivotal part of it. Can, can you tell me why you're involved? Sure. Um, so I'm going to show photographs that I took while I was on a trip in Botswana last year. Um, a friend of mine suggested that I showed them at the Regent Theatre for family and friends, and I saw an opportunity to raise some money for Cancer Society at the same time. So I approached them, and they were on board, and it's grown from there. And, and you've had family impacted by yes. cancer? Yes. So the, the nights um, to uh, honour my... Um, Older brother Gary, uh, he passed away from bowel cancer in 2016. So wanted to uh, honour him as well as uh, raise money for Cancer Society. I, I couldn't imagine a better way of doing it. No, it's great. Now yeah. I'm really curious about uh, Botswana. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's landlocked. It they, is. They say that it's safe. It is. How, how did you find it? Oh, it was fantastic. Um, safe, like we, we were camping in tents out, out on the um, delta. Um, felt perfectly safe. Obviously, we had guides. We had a photography guide and a safari guide. So, and some people running the camp. So, a couple of stories to tell. We probably should have been afraid, but but wasn't. Just perfectly safe. When you say the delta, is that the Kalahari? Uh, Okavango Delta. Oh, the, okay. Yep. Yep. Huge. Massive. Um, we only saw a small part of it, um, and it, you know it's it's uh, formed from rain that comes out of Angola. Um, so. When we were there, it was relatively dry. It wasn't the wet season, so um, but obviously water means lots of animals around, so it's good for photography. So tell me, the did you have to get many shots? I mean, I've I've never been to Africa. Did, do you have to get Do you have to get I inoculated? Um, I can't remember what they were, but there was two or three I had to get um, a booster. I'd been to South Africa a few years prior, so. There was a booster for that, but yep, there were some shots I had to take. Now they tell me there's a couple of million people there, or 2.2 million, or something like that, and and it's in, in one of the references I read, it's it's the poorest country in Africa. Is that correct? Um, I don't know. You've done better research than me. Um, if I'm totally honest, and this sounds a bit uh, a bit harsh, but I wasn't interested in the people. Yep. Um, it was all about the. Did families. you see a lot of people? No, no, because I was out 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 on safari. Um, we were in a small town for three nights, a town called Kasani, um, but didn't, didn't go out in the town or anything, just stayed in the lodges and just went out on boats and safaris. What was the food like? Food was great. Food in the camp was, was amazing. We had, a, we had a guy that was doing all our cooking. Um, fabulous. Um, but just, you know, good, good honest food. So. The, um, you know, they say that uh, Botswana is one of the safest countries in Africa to be in. Did it feel like that? Yeah, I, I never felt unsafe at all. Um, not at all. Just never did I feel unsafe uh, being around people. So, um, no, as far as I'm concerned, it was good. I also read that it's got the largest resources of coal in the world. I didn't know that either. No, no, I didn't no. know. I didn't know I didn't it either. I didn't see any coal, but yeah, could you drink the water? Uh, not out, not out in the in the delta. Um, that we had bottled water, they had a good supply of bottled water. So, but in the lodges and that, yeah, we could drink water. Now, I've heard you talk before about uh, your passion for photography. Mm -hmm. How long have you been? How long has it been with you? Oh gosh, I, I remember. I don't know. I was probably, I'm guessing, eight, and I got one of those Kodak Instamatic cameras for for Christmas. Yeah. And yeah, I just loved it since then. I just it's just something I've grown with and and loved it. So. And just got more creative as, as the years have gone on and upgraded the camera gear and just kept going. Joined the local club here and that was good. Now I've seen uh, one of the images, which I think was taken in Botswana. It, it looks like a leopard up a tree. Yeah. Is it a leopard? or It's a leopard, yes. yes. And, and how, how close were you? Oh, very close. Um, we spent and we spent two days with that leopard. Um, very close. And like we had lions. You could reach touch from being in the truck they just walked up past the truck so elephants within two meters 
Uh, so you must have some amazing shots. Yeah, I've got one or two. <laughs> I took, I brought home about fifteen thousand images. No. Yeah. So, but obviously they're not all. We're not going to show them all. You won't be there till midnight. So. Yeah, it, it sounds fascinating. So, what, what have we got? We got tigers. Uh, no leopards, tigers. No uh, tigers. Leopards, mostly elephants. And one of the reasons I went uh, is my love for elephants. They are just the most amazing animal as far as I'm concerned. Um, Buffalo, hippos, a uh, heap of birds, uh, lots of um, antelope type type animals, um, giraffes, zebras. So you saw them all? Lions, uh, I think I said lions. Um, yeah, saw them all. And just saw heaps of them. They're just everywhere. It's great. It, it, uh, it really does sound like a trip of a lifetime, doesn't it? It was. It was. It certainly was. And it, it was a very special trip. It was um, Gary, my brother, asked me to go on a special trip right um, so that's why I went it had to be special um, and at the end I spent three days uh, horse riding um, out viewing the animals as well so that was, that was pretty cool so so Gary's uh, wishes have been carried out by the sound of it yes yes oh uh, that's, that's it took good me three years to find this trip and go on this trip that had to be special and, and it was yeah. wow and so to get to Africa, where do you fly? Do you... Uh, we went in New Zealand, so we went via Perth, uh, then to Johannesburg, and then from Johannesburg up to Kasani, uh, up in Botswana. And no trouble with customs and all those no. sorts of things? It was no, all... it was easy. Really? Yeah, easy. Yep. No, you're a brave thing. Yeah. Now, now tell me, uh, Tina from the Cancer Society has mm -hmm. talked at length about um, the nights that you're going to have, and, and at this stage there's three nights. Yep. And uh, and we have it's at the is it at the region? Yeah, Greymouth region. So it's um, and and Paddy's been amazing. Yeah, he's he's giving us the theatre to, to do this, and um, it's on the actual big screen in the movie theatre. Oh, so the images are. Yeah, and when I saw them, I was blown away. They look amazing just on those big screens. So I can't wait to to see it myself, actually. And and it looks like uh, there's a there's a charge of ten dollars. Yes, there Which is, is yep. almost, it's a donation, I guess, mm -hmm. in many, you know, many ways. Yep. And um, so, uh, any any rearrangements likely with, um, you know, some of the events in, around New Zealand at the moment? I guess it'll, it'll be just a, a uh, timing thing? It will be. And, and you know, and we'll, we'll just um, work with Paddy on that. Whatever Paddy has to do, if there has to be some restrictions or if we do have to postpone, we'll do that. Um, but it's almost ready to go. I'm putting the finishing touches on it now, so... Um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Oh, Tina tells me that the uh, the Wednesday, the 19th of August uh, mm -hmm. show, because mm -hmm. uh, I said, look, I'd like to buy a couple of tickets, mm -hmm. and she said, don't know whether you'll be able to. No, it's pretty much sold out, uh, which is great. Um, and a lot of family uh, coming to that one, which is really important um, yeah. because of Gary. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited. I think, you've look, you've done a great thing. So, yep. Coasters... Um, you can go onto the the Cancer Society's Facebook page. There's a link there. Um, the tickets are ten dollars. Even if you pay the ten dollars and don't go, it's a really good cause, fantastic cause. And uh, Gaylene, th this is uh, I've got to say I'm quite moved by the the whole story. And yeah. it hasn't finished yet, has it? No, no, it hasn't. And uh, and just to just to say, all photos that are shown. Um, I'm happy to donate them if people want to uh, get them printed. Um, and Stuart Nimmo has donated a framed image of one of the elephant shots that I took, which is going to be raffled. But we're going to work something out with Stuart. People can, I'll donate the photo, people can get it printed, and a portion of that will also go back to Cancer Society. So you can take one home if you want and hang it on your wall. I had a look at the framed uh, photo with the elephants. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's... It was hard handing it over. Oh, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm oh. sure it would be. Well, look, Gaylene, thanks so much for your time. We'll look forward to being in the audience and uh, and watching the, the you know, you, you present the images. And it sounds like a trip of a lifetime is going to be extended to all of the coast community, which yeah, is fantastic. that's great. And uh, thanks, everyone, for the support. It's fantastic. Thank you, Bruce. Catch you later. All right.